Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a fun category video for you guys, and this one is probably going to shock you a little bit. I mean, consistently, like, things go for big money in this category, consistently. And I only got, I mean, you can see how, well, you can't see yet, but I have a bunch of tabs pulled up. And I didn't even get to, like, the bread and butter and, like, the average above bread and butter items because I didn't get there. Like there were too many high solds. So I think you guys are going to like this one. You're going to want to watch the whole thing because I really tried to pick out different things in this category um, to help you guys learn. And it's pretty exciting. I am going to start the video with a shout out and you'll see why in just a minute. So let's get our screen share up. And this shout out goes to the primetime treasure hunter. And this is your first hint as to what I'm going to be talking about. Kiss. He sold a, a pack of Kiss pencils for $237.50. And I just want to say that primetime treasure hunter has an amazing YouTube channel. He's up to 11.6 thousand subscribers. That is fantastic. And he is just really doing a great job. But he has tons and tons of reseller videos right here. Bolo, be on the lookout. He does some Bolo videos. He has a really cute dog. But um, definitely, definitely go check him out. And I will link uh, in the description of the video a link to his YouTube channel. Or you can just put Primetime Treasure Hunter into the YouTube description box, but I would put in kiss in the search bar because I was looking for this video and you guys definitely want to go watch it. Uh, there's kind of a fun story behind these. I'm not sure. can't remember if this is the video he talks about it in, but, uh, it may have been the video when he found them, but there's a good story behind it. I'm guessing he probably talks about it in this video. It's been a while since I watched the video because it was posted seven months ago. But I thought of this when I decided to do this video. So we are going to get started. And again, a big thank you to Primetime Treasure Hunter. He's been kind of like a mentor to me. Um, you know, I message him here and there for questions with, you know, things that I have about YouTube. And he's just been uh, fantastic. I'm going to call him a friend because um, he's a great person and he's really helped me out. So go subscribe to him. Tell him Bolo Buddy sent you. All right, here we go. These dolls right here, Mego Kiss dolls. This one is currently listed. Um, let me see if I can update the listing. Yep, it's still at $152.50. By the time I post this video, it will have sold. But just to give you an idea, this still has five days left and it has 40 bids and is at five the or $152. So I expect that this one's gonna go high. The next item is this Kiss Unmasked record dis um, store display, which I would expect something like this to go high. And it's probably not something that any of us are gonna find, but I always say this person found it. So it's not impossible, but this sold for $4,495 with 17 bids. There are some major, major Kiss collectors out there. So if you see anything KISS, please take a minute to look it up. This is another poster. It's from 1975. It is a rare original KISS Rush poster. $1,100 this sold for. It does only have one bid. So I usually like to see items with more than one bid, but some of these uh, only had one bid. But that's all it takes, you know? Let's see what else we have. Okay, so these are those Mego dolls that I showed you in the beginning that are up for auction right now. These are in the original boxes. Um, let's see, condition. Let's see, these were bought for me on my 16th birthday and they were mo removed from the box and put away 40 years ago until now. The marker on the box, I believe, was my mother trying to hide the price. If you want a piece of Kiss history, Haha, <laughs> kiss history. This is it. Okay, that's kind of fun. I don't even see what they're talking about, the black marker. Do you guys see it? I don't see it. Black marker. Maybe it's on the back. I don't know, but how cool is that? 
these these crazy. Only one bid, but again, that's all you need. This is a hoot. I'm sorry, but this cracks me up. This is a vintage 1978 Kiss by Image Alcoin Rock Music Stripe shirt, size eight for a very young boy. How funny is that, you guys? I thought it was a onesie when I first saw it, but it's a kid's shirt. It's That is amazing. And look what it sold for, $699.99. Again, only one bid, so no guarantees they paid for it. But I can imagine, like, this is probably a pretty rare item. It's kind of odd. The next, let me, I want to see the tag. Do they have a tag? Here's the tag. Can't get it to open. Why is my computer doing this? Let me see if I can do that. Sometimes I like to look at the tags. It does look like they're showing the back of the tag. So that's probably not going to help us much. Come on. Come on, eBay. Come on, eBay. Open up. Not going to do it. All right. Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it says 1978. Okay. Alcoin management. Yeah. With KISS, a partnership. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a rare item. Very cool. All right, so here's the dolls in excellent condition outside of the box, a complete set. And, well, maybe they do have the box. Sold for $560 with 30 bids. Yeah, it looks like they have the box. So, yeah, pretty fun, huh? 30 bids on that one. Kiss, your face makeup kit. So this is probably like something somebody bought for Halloween and it sold for $490 with 14 bids. Okay, you guys, I want to know, comment below if you saw this at a garage sale, I'd probably pick it up, but I would never, ever think that it would go for $490. Now that I've like done, like looked up and researched and got everything ready for this video, of course, now I know. And again, the picture will not pull up. How frustrating is that? I'm trying to have a video here. Can't get every, anything to pull up. All right. Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like. Your face makeup instructions. $490, 14 bids. Buyer paid shipping. These are 1978 Kiss cards. The second series. So they're like trading cards. $450. Again, only one bid, but um, I think that people know the value of these things. So they'll start their items high and then that kiss collector comes along and, you know, wins it if no other kiss collectors are looking. So I'm not sure if this, it says rock and roll ball with brats, kiss, planets. I don't know. It's a photo book page. So it's like a er, very early hand bill from 1973. This sold for $460.25 with six bids and free shipping. Okay, so this Funko Pop, we all know that certain Funko Pops can be big money. Apparently this Kiss the Demon Glow in the Dark Chase Vaulted Rare is one of those. It sold for $450, 48 bids and free shipping. Okay, I believe these are stickers. Um, let's see, 1978 Rare Alcoin official set of four rock sticks, sticks. Yeah, Gene Simmons, okay, rock sticks. I think I'm saying that right. So they're stickers. They look like kind of those puffy ones that kind of are raised a little. So back in the day, these were $1.49 a pack, made in the USA. These sold for $449, which leads me into the, if you have not seen my Bolo category video for stickers, you got to go check that one out. Crazy. And if I was really like, um, really savvy, I'd be like, check out the video up here and I'd point and then it would pop up, but I always forget to do that stuff. So check out the stickers video. You'll have to type it in. The next item is this complete vintage 1978 Alcoin Kiss Rock Band 
Halloween costume in the box, sold for $445 with 38 bids and free shipping. There you have it. Check that out. Fun, fun. The next item are these Kiss Four Solo Album Belt Buckles, 1977, sold for $410. Three bids on this one and the buyer paid shipping. I want to see if there's anything like unique or any, what the writing maybe says on the back, but it's not going to let me. So it must not be important. The next item is this Kiss Scream Machine Light Blue Mini Megaphone. I thought it was a cup, but it does, does that say Pepsi? I'm confused. Is it a cup or is it, it's a cup. Why are they calling it a mini megaphone? Oh, maybe because of the shape? But shouldn't cup be in the title? Hmm. No cracks in the cup. Yeah, I would have put cup in the title, but I see where they're going with that. Either way, they sold it for $400 with one bid and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1978 KISS record player with the phonograph turntable. Sold for $371, 39 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely be on the lookout. This KISS pin from 1978. It's a ballpoint pin. It's unpunched, which means I learned, who did I learn that off of the other day? Was that Primetime Treasure Hunter? cannot remember who I was watching. I think it was. It was Primetime Treasure Hunter because he was talking about um, some of the card backs that he had sold and some were punched and some were unpunched. So you can see how this tab is still up here and that means it's unpunched. But these are retractable ballpoint pen sold for $341.96 plus shipping, 35 bids. I mean, these KISS collectors are, they're willing to pay up. Let's see. Started the auction at $9.99. I bet this seller was like losing it. I mean, they probably had no idea. The next item are these um, 1978. It's a set of four. Uh, it's a complete set. And these sold for $367 with 29 bids. Let's see. All pins click well. Some on the print on some pins has slight wear. So have not been tested if there is ink. Why not just test it? I mean, it's out of the package. That's weird. I'm going to guess due to their age, they probably don't work. But I would just disclose that. I mean, I think you can replace the ink in those pretty easily. The next item is this KISS 1979 sealed color forms. And I don't know what color forms are, but if you see something that says KISS color forms set, it says color forms toy. Tell me below, what is color forms? Let's see, the incredible superhero rock stars are transformed into, is that dynamite color forms? Plastic that sticks like, ah, I can't read it, magic, no scissors, no paste, never a mess. So I still don't know what they are. <laughs> but anyway, they sold for $360 plus shipping. The next item are these Vintage Kiss Early 80s Tour t-shirt. You guys all know that Vintage t-shirts are a bolo this one sold for $355 with 34 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This Kiss um, backpack, and it's 1977, the Thermos Division. It doesn't look very big, but it's a backpack. It's a mini backpack. Sold for $275, one bid, buyer paid shipping. Okay, so these are two Kiss Live tickets plus parking. So. I'm, it says February 7th, 2020. I was thinking maybe these were already used, but no, they were selling the tickets. So how does that work? Are you allowed to sell tickets on eBay? I mean, I'm guessing you are, but um, yeah, I was thinking these were like vintage 
or older, not vintage. They're definitely not vintage looking, but older tickets. So disregard this one. It's kind of like this stub. Those sometimes can be a bolo also. That's where I was going with that, but it didn't work out. Uh, vintage Kiss Alcoin Rare, May 20th, 1976, Cadillac newspaper. I don't think that that's the wrong name. That says Cadillac can Cadillac. It must, I bet it auto corrected. So Cadillac can newspaper, the Cadillac can Cadillac can. Yeah. So I don't know. That might've maybe hurt the listing. I don't know. It looks like it still went for $251. I doubt they're buying it for where the newspaper came from but more for the fact that KISS is on the front. $251, 18 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage KISS Alcoin 1979 Cheap Trick Concert Women's Tee. And I do feel like the women's tees do not go as much as the men's, but Friday the 13th, July 1979, that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, cool, $236.50. 19 bids in the buyer paid shipping. So this is a 1977 AM transistor pocket radio, 45 bids sold for $229.50, the buyer paid shipping. How cool is that? I'm not like, like I don't listen to Kiss, I'm not really into Kiss, but I really find this video fascinating because I wanna go out and I wanna find all of the Kiss like, stuff I can possibly find. So another costume. Look at those boots. Oh my gosh, that is a hoot. I would not want to try and walk in those. I mean, I understand their platform, so it's not like walking with a really high heel, but oh, I could see an ankle being twisted easily. So this sold for $207.50, $207.50, seven bids plus shipping. This Kiss Lunchbox 1977 with the thermos sold for $201.50 and it had 10 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so these are solo cassette tapes, four of them, and it's got Gene Simmons, Peter, Chris, Ace, Friendly, and Paul Stanley. And they sold for $212.50 with 26 bids, and those are pretty cool. I get it, I get it. The next item are these 1977 pencil set, and these sold for $170 with 10 bids. So again, now that the video is over, please go check out Primetime Treasure Hunter. Again, I will post a link in the description of this video. Thank you guys all for being here and watching and for your support. I appreciate every single one of you so much. And I know you take time out of your day to watch and I hope you're learning and I hope you're finding the bolos. And if you ever find a bolo that you saw in my video, I actually just released a video. It was called um, a member or a subscriber watched my video and found a bolo and they found an item and sold it for $201. So go search that video. It's fantastic. They messaged me on Facebook. Like I was so excited. They're like, hey, I've got this auction going right now. It's got some bids. I think it's going to be good. I saw it in one of your videos and I'm like, oh, yay, I'm so excited. And it went for $201, which made me even more happy. And the cool part, they got it at the Goodwill bin. So they had probably a buck or so in it. So very, very cool. So I assure you, if you keep watching and you keep learning, you will find the items. I mean, they show up. You think they won't, but they do. They really do. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and have an awesome night, and I'll see you guys soon.